Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you 5 features in After Effects that you might not know about, features that can make your workflow faster and editing much easier. The first feature is especially helpful for those who are new to After Effects and watch too many tutorials on YouTube and want to follow along without constantly switching between After Effects and the browser. Let's go to Window Menu and scroll down to Review with Frame.io and select it. Now I'll grab that window and dock it next to my preview window, so I can see both my Edit and Frame.io at the same time. Next open YouTube. Open the tutorial you want to watch and follow along directly in After Effects, click and hold the link here, then drag it into the frame.io window. Now you have a built-in browser inside After Effects, making it much easier to follow tutorials without opening Google Chrome every time you need to check the video. As editors, we often make videos faster or slower. In After Effects, to create slow motion, we usually select the clip, right-click on it, go to Time, Time Stretch, and then adjust the stretch factor to make the layer slower or faster. Forget that, there's an easier way. Simply hold Alt on your keyboard and drag the layer to the left to make it faster. To slow the video down, drag the layer to the right. You can also click the duration icon down here and stretch the layer to any length you want. This one can be a bit annoying when creating shapes in After Effects, the anchor point is never centered by default, so we have to fix it every time we create a new shape. Here's a solution. Go to the Edit menu, scroll down to Preferences, and choose General. Make sure to enable Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layers, then click OK. Now whenever you create a new shape layer, the anchor point will always be centered, saving you a lot of time. The fourth tip is about motion blur. For example when you animate position, scale, or rotation, you usually enable motion blur on the layer to add some blur. But what if the motion blur isn't enough? In my case, it's often not as strong as I want. To fix this, go to the Composition menu and choose Composition Settings. Then go to the Advanced tab, and under Motion Blur, increase the shutter angle. I like to set it all the way up to 720 for maximum motion blur. Now as you can see, the blur is stronger, and the motion looks much smoother and softer. This tip is about masking. For example I want to cut out a sticker on a car. Normally we'd need to track the mask, but masking in After Effects can be very time consuming, even Mocha AE may not give perfectly smooth results. Here's a faster solution, instead of manually masking and tracking, we can use the Roto Brush tool, rotoscope the sticker, and then convert the rotoscoping into a standard mask. With the Roto Brush tool selected, carefully select the sticker as smoothly as possible. Once you're done, click the Freeze button. After the freezing is complete, close the rotoscoping window, you'll now see the isolated sticker. Next we can convert that selection into a mask. First trim the work area to match the length of the clip. Now go to the layer menu, scroll down to Auto Trace, and select it. In the pop-up window, make sure time span is set to work area, and apply to new layer is disabled. Then click OK. Now wait for After Effects to finish the auto tracing process. Once that's done, restore the work area to its full length and check the mask that was created. You can now disable or even delete the roto brush effect. If you preview the video, you'll see that you now have a clean, tracked mask on the sticker. You can also press M on your keyboard to reveal the mask properties and adjust the mask mode as usual. Now the bonus feature. I want to share a free JSX panel that I created especially for AM Film subscribers. Many of you already know about it and are using it, but there are also many new people on AM Film who haven't seen it yet. This JSX panel is completely free, and you can download it from the link in the description below. Once you've got it, let's install it quickly. Open your C drive, then go to Program Files, Adobe, After Effects, Support Files. Inside that folder, find the Scripts folder, open it, then go into Scriptsui Panels. Finally drag and drop the AM Film file into that folder. Once that's done, open After Effects. At first you won't see anything until you go to the window menu, scroll down, and enable AM Film. Now the panel will appear, and you can drag it anywhere you want, or dock it. For example, I'll dock it on the right side of my workspace here. So what does it do, and how does it help you? In the panel, you'll find several buttons, such as Solid, Text, Adjustment, and more. By clicking any of these buttons, the panel will instantly create those layers for you in just seconds. It also includes pre-composition and duplicate buttons, which make your workflow noticeably faster and more efficient. The best feature for anyone who uses a lot of text in their edits, are the anchor and align center buttons. For example in this text, the anchor point is not centered. You can fix this by clicking the anchor button, which centers the anchor point on the text. Then if you click align center, the text will be perfectly centered within your composition. There are also two extremely useful buttons, FB on and FB off. FB on enables frame blending on all layers in your timeline without having to open each pre-composed layer. FB off disables frame blending on all layers in just seconds. You'll also find the effects tab. This tab shows all your saved effects as presets in After Effects and creates buttons for them so you can apply any saved preset in just seconds, no need to search for it in the effects panel. Let me show you where the saved presets are located. Open your documents folder. 
Then go to Adobe, After Effects, User Presets. Here you'll find all the saved presets that are displayed in the AM Film JSX panel. It doesn't matter whether it's a preset you saved yourself or one from another creator, it works with any preset. For example here I have the AM Film Shakes folder. The presets aren't displayed by default, but to make them visible, I can click the drop-down menu to see the folder and its subfolders. Then I select the folder I need, and I can use AM Film Shakes as buttons directly in the panel. So if you have paid presets from any creator, you can use the AM Film JSX panel to display all your presets in one place. Place. AM Film JSX is completely free, and you can download it from the link in the description below. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.